And he um, became internationally known, but very well known in America. It's, um, it's a very interesting cast. The problem is, we've all full of copies of his work. And so we have to try and establish whether this is a real one or not. Um, let's try and put you out of a misery. Uh, what I like about it, I get down here, um, it's got people the founding mark, which is a good sign. The Gorham founders, that's Stanton, and we've got Gorham Cohen founders written in by the sculptor himself in the wax model. And it certainly looks very, very nice. Colour, condition. What are you doing on my sewing, Bob? Bob, Penny? I my glasses to see Oh. You never know, so what are you doing on my sewing? On the middle of the table. He made 107 of this twist, one and a half inch cast. So this is number 82. But that's quite exciting. So it's a genuine bronze. There's probably some relief there. It certainly is. Tell me what, um, Nifty. Well, this was a photograph that uh, my late aunt Law cut from the paper showing uh, a very similar bronze in the Oval Office uh, with President Clinton. Um, he did actually write to Clinton uh, after seeing that, so um, sadly he didn't get a reply. Did he write that? He didn't. He's busy writing his memoir, so I'm looking at it. But that one is not only is it similar wrongs, it's the identical cast. We can't tell from this photograph what size it is, but I think it's the same size. And one wonders whether it's Clinton or whether it belongs in the Oval Office. Have you ever been to Boston, where Dan was born? I never have. Outside the Boston Museum of Fine Arts, which is a wonderful museum, is a full size and a probably even over life size figure of this Indian chief. And it's a Sioux Indian, it's the chief of the Sioux Indians. They've been beaten basically by the settlers, if you like, the Native American Indians being beaten into submission, appealing to the great spirit. And that's what he's doing. What do we do about this? Just appealing to his, to his spirit, to his gods, to find out what to do. I mean, it's a very emotive bronze. And I think in American history, it's a very important bronze. Um, so well known that this bronze figure, amazing as it may seem to us today, was as well known as the Statue of Liberty at this time. It was that important. Well, I have to try and value it, really. Um, well, I do know that in 2005, in at Auckland, New York, cast number 90 made $120,000. In today's money, it's £66,000. That's the same size as this, is it? The same size. And it was cast number 90, you've got 82. <laughs> you never know what's going to be brought along to the road show. And this little number caught my eye. It's an advertising display for beer from the 1950s, and it's in a Spice Girls video, no less. And this might not be the kind of thing you really, really want in your home, but the owner tells me it has a private place in his sitting room, which must lighten things up no end. We've had a very lively day here at Bondland, too. Wonderful items in a spectacular setting. So from all the team here at the Roadshow in North Wales, bye-bye. <laughs> Rugby, and it's the first of the Christmas derbies tonight as the Blues welcome the Scarlets to the Arms Park. Scrum 5 kicks off at 7.30, followed by a look back at a colourful year in Welsh sport at 9.30. Stay with us for all of that coming up here. You sorted him then, Penny. Next this evening, eggheads. Bob, what did she do to you? <laughs>